Hey guys, today's video is going to be about chinchilla information. It's going to be a chinchilla care guide. Um, it's going to be made into two parts, just so you guys know. The second part is going to be done right after this video, so you guys know that it's actually going to be done. Because I have said before that things are going to be done into two parts, and only one part is actually finished. And then the next part just kind of lingers in the air, so this one is actually going to be in two parts. So for part one, um, we're going to be talking about a few things. Um, the first topic that I'm going to be talking about is cage types. Now, um, Ferret Nation cage is what Chilo has. Um, it's a very recommended high-end cage, and I really do recommend it. It's very um, stable, so it's a very good cage. Um, it has four floors. It holds storage at the very bottom, which is really good. It rolls on wheels. It's easy to take apart and assemble, which is very, very nice, and, you know, if you're going to like adopt a chinchilla, that it's really easy to assemble it really fast if you're going to be getting it that day, <laughs> etc. So you're going to want to um, know that you're probably going to want to know the price if you guys don't know what a chinchilla, chinchilla ferret nation cage is. So um, the price can be around two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars depending on the quality that you get. Um, his cage was around two hundred and twenty dollars. Um, it's a very, um, not really expensive to me because it's like a cage and it's for chinchillas. Chinchillas aren't really the type to people normally adopt. So it's, it's uh, the number one recommended brand and it's good for chinchillas and it's very spacious. So it gives them lots of room to jump around, run around, you know, do all their daily activities that they would do on a daily basis. Um, for grooming, grooming is a very important part of the chinchilla's life. Um, it's a really just really important on keeping their fur nice and healthy, their teeth nice and healthy, everything about them nice and healthy. Um, so you're going to want to clean, if you clean the cage, you have a clean and happy chinchilla. Um, if you have a dirty cage, you're going to have a stressed chinchilla and it's not good. So if you guys don't know what it means when they're stressed, I have some stress indications for you guys. Sorry, I had to write this down so I didn't forget because I most likely want to say a lot of things on my videos that I just end up forgetting about, so today I'm going to talk about them. Um, stress indications include hair loss, abnormal noises, such as um, barking, which actually sounds like a barking dog. It's more like a, it's not like a woof woof, it's like a, like a ha 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 ha. I cannot imitate it, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've heard it on the internet before, and it's a very sad noise to hear. Just means your chinchillas are stressed or frightened by something, and yeah. So another thing is um, squealing. Squealing is more like the ee that guinea pigs kind of make sometimes. Um, that's a little bit freakier because they're more. That's not a normal noise that they would make at all. So it's more like <laughs> okay then, like they don't make those noises. I don't know what's happening. Um, another noise would be. Sorry, chirping. Um, chirping is more like the other guinea pig noise that's like, er, 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 er. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm in case that makes so much. Um, chirping, yeah. But chirping is a very, like, obnoxious. Not obnoxious, but it's more like a, er, er, er noise that really just sets the chinchillas off. And it alarms other chinchillas that they're stressed as well. Um, for grooming, also, you want to know to give them a dust bath. Dust bath three times a week or as often as needed now their hair can get really matted really fast so you're going to want to give them a nice dust bath to let them clean themselves and you know lots of people think oh it's just dust it may probably makes them just dirtier or it doesn't even do anything but it actually cleans them it has minerals in it that get into the fur and cleans it up for them um you're going to not want to give them um treats 24 7 so you're going to want to read the back before the label it can always be misunderstood because the label could say healthy apple chews and then you'll read the back and it says this is just a very large example but 50 percent sugar for example if it said that you would have read the front and said oh healthy apple chews let's get it and then in the back it says 50 percent sugar like you wouldn't know that if you didn't look at the back so look at the back before you read the label that's always my whole motto that i go with whenever i'm picking out chinchilla treats and all that um it can be very vastly misunderstood though. Um, for hay, you're going to want to stick with alpha alpha hay because it has more nutrients and vitamins in it than timothy hay. Um, timothy hay has less nutrients and it's more just a 
guinea pig vitamin supplement, I guess you could say. It's good for guinea pigs, but it's also good for chins. So, either way, um, alfalfa hay is better for chins. Um, you do not, do not want to get your chins wet. Wetness on chins can make them very sick and ill. Um, it can also lead to immediate death if they get frightened by it. Let's say a hose, let's just say a hose appeared somewhere and it sprayed them down or something. It would freak them out and they would probably die because of the stress all of a sudden that just like hit them. It's like when you get surprised by a cousin or something. They take a cold bucket of water and they splash it on you. It's really freaky and you don't know what's happening and it's like a big, like, <gasps> like I'm scared. So you're just going to want to be careful with the whole, um, the wet part of that. Um, you're going to want to make sure the chin knows how to use their water bowl or water bottle, uh, whichever you use. Um, Chilo, Milo, you would know, he used to use a water bowl. Um, the water bowl was more along the lines of it used to get dirty faster, there would be poop in it, there would be pee in it, there would be everything in it that we didn't really want in it, obviously. I don't think he really wants poop sitting in his cage. I don't think I really want poop sitting in his cage, like in the water bowl because then I need to change it like three times a day and that's a lot more than you should be changing them which is like one time in the morning and then one time before bed I would probably assume um you just change it once a morning which is what I normally do um yeah and I just switched to a water bottle and he instantly knew how to use it and I was like okay this is great like he uses it daily and it's I refill it every single morning and when I refill it in the morning it's gone by the next morning and I need to refill it so I I've actually started refilling it once in the morning and once at night time, and sometimes uh, I'll still just refill it in the morning, even if it's like three quarters of the way full. It's just because I want him to have fresh water supplied for him 24-7. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that I have wrapped up for you guys for part one. I hope you guys got some information out of this video. Um, thanks for watching part one. Hope to see you guys into part two. Um, part two will also have a grocery, grocery list. Um, so the grocery list will be for, um, what I mean, like, is for if you guys are having new coming chins and you want to know what you need to get them, like a cage or, like, anything like that, I'm going to be supplying a grocery list that you should be getting for your chins. Um, also, for elderly chins that you've already had, like, let's say it was a non-newcomer, like, they had a chinchilla like Milo, and they just wanted to know... Um, what's good brands for treats? What's good brands for food? Like, they just want to know simple things like that. I would also supply that on the grocery list. As well as one more thing that I wanted to add in the end of this video that I totally forgot. Um, exercise balls. I am selling mine. Um, they're going to be sold for ferrets, hamsters, anything like that. It'll hurt the guinea pigs back. It will, can kill the chinchillas because it overheats them and it's not good for them. So, Please just don't use any exercise balls, guys. It's really, it's called a death ball. It's not a good ball for your chinchillas. And, I mean, I used it on Milo once because I didn't know. And then I researched it more and I was like, whoa, I shouldn't be using this. So I just totally made a stop to it. That's the only time I ever used it. And he didn't even use it. So I was like, this is pointless. Why did I get it? He doesn't use it. Like, is this normal? Is he sick? I didn't know. But apparently it's called the death ball and he was just overheating. So as soon as I took him out, he kind of just sat in his cage for a little while, cooling off with the fresh air that I always had my window cracked open. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about that death ball for you guys. Just so you guys knew, um, not to get one. So, yeah, you don't need to waste your money on something that could kill your animal. Um, thanks for watching, guys. So, like I said, I'll get, hope I see you guys in part two, which I'll be making right now. So, bye guys!